Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess, and I'm here to do kind of a hot topic of the week, and I, I really just want you guys to uh, talk to me about it. I really want us to discuss it in the comment section, and hopefully even video responses, but I want to talk about the way that um, marrying a professional athlete or a superstar is being glamorized on television. And... Um, I want to talk about what I feel is the basketball player wife mentality. And that mentality is that you don't have to necessarily work hard. You just have to meet a man who worked hard and, you know, couple up with him and then you get to reap all the benefits. I feel like shows like uh, Flavor of Love, For the Love of Ray J, Basketball Wives, even Married to Medicine, some of the ladies on there, Real Housewives of dot, dot, dot. I just feel like television is presenting us, and I feel, when I say us, I mean African American women, in a way where it's like all we're trying to do is be a gold digger. You know, my husband was watching the NFL draft the other day, and he was like, you know what, the funny part is, he said, I bet there are more females watching this draft than dudes. Trying to find out who about to come up, and you know, trying to find out where they can meet this brother so that they could try to get on. And it's kind of sad to me that this is the way that we are presenting ourselves in television. I just feel like there is an absence of, on television of decent shows that show women of color, especially because I am a woman of color, getting their own. God bless the child that has their own. Why is it that they we're always trying to compete for the love? You know, that's one thing. I know the show is old, but it always got under my skin how you have this aging star, Flavor Flav, and you got these women who are half his age. He calling them things like delicious and just all these stupid names. And I'm just like, you know good and well if Flavor Flav didn't have a dime, none of y'all would want him. And shows like that, I feel like just perpetuate the mentality of, you know, I need to find me a baller so I can get rich. Whatever happened to encouraging our young women to get your own education, to go up and be doctors and be lawyers and be, you know, whatever you can be. What is going on with the, with the television programming that's being put out these days that's trying to tell our young women that the only way for you to be successful is for you to marry a man who has been successful? And I feel like it shows like Basketball Wives. These, and the sad part is, and I'm, I'm ranting, I hope you don't mind, but the sad part is on the Basketball Wives, those, those women, most of them weren't even wives. Besides like Shawnee and Jennifer, I believe, the rest of these women were, were jump off, baby mamas, uh, chicks they dated once or twice, but, you know, but they get a show just because you used to date somebody who ain't even, and the, the dudes who they was dating wasn't nobody anyway. Kenny Anderson? He wasn't nobody anyway. I don't know. That's just, I mean, <laughs> I haven't done a good, hearty, meaty rant in quite a while, but I'm really tired of that. And one of the other, another reasons why I wanted to do this is because if you follow my channel, you know I did a strawberry letter, I think about a month or so ago, where a girl was having a baby by a man that she barely knew, that she didn't even care for, said the man couldn't even hold up a conversation. But why did she have this man's baby? Because she said she was impressed by his accomplishments. You, you impressed by his accomplishments, so you have a baby for him? So he can take good care of himself, but is he taking care of you? She said in the, the, in the letter that she couldn't even find him, that even the child support office couldn't even track him down. So so what? He accomplished a lot. Does that mean he's going to give you and share his life with you? It's no guarantee if you get with somebody, they're going to take care of you. What's wrong with taking care of yourself? Is that, am I old-fashioned for feeling like that? Get your stuff together. Maybe it's just me. But my daddy raised my sister and I to be women who had their own. My daddy always told us a man will respect you more when you have your own stuff together. I had my, my career was in full swing when I met my husband. I always know how to make my own money. My career was booming. And I just feel like it's important to have your own. Because when a man has to take care of you, it's not necessarily, it, it puts you in a very vulnerable position where you have no, no tangible skill, no employable skill to be able to take care of yourself. As a mother of not one but two daughters, I think it's important for us to raise our young daughters with the mentality of be able to sustain yourself. And nobody telling you, you got to take care of no dude, but at least be able to take care of yourself. And I feel like it will attract a man who knows that you don't need him, but that you want him, at least in my opinion. You guys let me know how you feel about it. I know I can rant. I went off a little bit. It is what it is. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, uh, but I want to hear your opinion. So let me know. Do you feel like shows like Basketball Wives and Married to Medicine and all these different shows showing these 
I don't want to call them what I was about to say, but call it showing these women who didn't come from very much and how bougie and uppity and how better than everybody else they seem because their man accomplished so much. What did you do, sister? Like you got so much, you ready to look down at your nose and ooh, girl, ooh, girl, ooh, you're so beneath me. But what did you do? You married a doctor, but, but what are you? You dated this athlete, but what do you do? There's nothing wrong with having your own stuff together. You don't have to make what your man makes, but can you make something? Okay. Anyway, I love you guys and I can't wait to hear your opinions. And I'll see you in the next video. Till next time, literally with some dudes.